Title 24 is a collection of energy standards for California buildings. Its goal is to promote energy efficiency in new homes and commercial constructions. The California Energy Commission ultimately does. However, they do work with stakeholders and the public to update the standards. If you'd like to learn more about how you can participate in these meetings and have your say in the upcoming 2022 update, I'll drop a link in the description to help you with that. The Cool Roof Rating Council is a third non-profit party that evaluates, sets how to measure the properties, and rates the surface radiative properties, solar reflectance and thermal emittance, of roofing and exterior wall products. The Cool Roof Rating Council sets the standards for Title 24, in regards to roofing, it deems whether a roof is an energy-efficient roof, which is also known as a cool roof. Cool roofs are essentially the white t-shirt you wear on an extremely hot weather day. Why a white t-shirt? Because the white t-shirt reflects the sunlight thus absorbing less heat and keeping you cooler. Cool roofs work the same way, they reflect sunlight and also cool themselves by efficiently emitting radiation to their surroundings. The roof literally stays cooler and reduces the amount of heat conducted to the building below. Title 24 applies to all residential and non-residential buildings in the state. The specific requirements for roofs are dependent on geographic location, building use, type of construction, and building type. There are many instances where a cool roof is not required, and the CEC has been diligent in their requirements for cool roofing where it makes sense for property owners in the state. If you'd like to know more about the specific standards on either a residential or non-residential roof, I'll add the links in the description. There are three different ways to comply with the requirements for energy efficiency in Title 24. 1. Prescriptive approach. This is the simplest approach to meeting the requirements of Title 24, particularly for re-roofing because it defaults to installing a cool roof or other options. When the cool roof is installed, the prescribed requirements are met. 2. Overall Envelope Approach This approach allows non-cool roofing to be installed if enough attic insulation is installed. While this trade-off makes sense, it must be accompanied by documentation that the amount of insulation used was adequate and meets the energy performance requirements for the building. 3. Performance Approach The approach to meeting Title 24 requires detailed calculations using CEC software where the energy efficiency of the entire building is calculated and compared to a prescribed energy budget. Using this method allows for trade-offs between different building envelope components and provides flexibility for designers. However, it is very difficult to comply with the standard when only making alterations to an existing building. Typically, an energy consultant is used when this approach is taken for compliance. Yes. A list compiled by the Cool Roof Rating Council, shows you the rebates and incentives wherever you are located in the United States. I'll add a link in the description. Additionally, I'll add a link to the cool roof calculator as well. This calculator can help you determine the savings you'll have by switching to a cool roof. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel.